Week to week, Darren Farwell or Leslie McCormick of the Farwell Group gives us advice and tips to help us safeguard our retirement funds and maximize our investments so we can protect our futures. In the last few weeks, we've learned how to protect ourselves from scams and financial abuse. Today, I'm happy to have Darren Farwell, Senior Wealth Advisor of the Farwell Group, with us this morning. So good morning, Darren. Good morning, Marilyn. Well, you know, uh, as you were saying, there's, there's, there are lots of scams out there. Well, obviously, it goes without saying that no one likes the feeling of getting ripped off. Yet in today's increasingly complex and specialized world of products and services and trades, you know, it's not easy to avoid. So today, I'm going to suggest five tips to help avoid getting ripped off. And what are they? Well, I mean, it's, it, you know what, Marilyn, I'm coming to those five tips, but first I <laughs> want to tell you a little bit about Nancy and okay. how she was able to use those. I mean, it's no surprise, uh, I'm sure you've heard it in speaking to listeners, that the transition from being married to becoming a widow and learning to live your life as a widow can be overwhelming, and it certainly was for Nancy. Nancy was 66 years old when she first came to meet with me, and her husband had passed away very suddenly at age 74. Nancy was in the early stages of transitioning into life without her husband. And amongst many other things Nancy had to deal with, they were, well, she was, in the middle of a significant bathroom reno. Now, Nancy was involved with her husband in this case, but he was doing most of the actual contracting out, and Nancy was more focused on the materials and designs. So when Nancy came to me initially because of how overwhelmed she was feeling, uh, what Leslie and I have learned in our Certified Financial Transition Specialist course, which focuses on, yes, the financial, but equally or even more important, the emotional side of managing transition, what we have learned is that feeling of being overwhelmed can also lead to vulnerability and a fear of getting ripped off. And sorry to say, it's a legit fear. There's a small group of people out there who will try to rip you off. So best be aware and be prepared. So the first thing we did for Nancy was reduce her worry list by using our decision-free zone tool. We sorted out all the things she had to do into buckets. The absolute minimum for now, the sooner stuff, like we'll get to it sooner, maybe a little bit later, and then finally the stuff that she really could put off until later. So we sorted that into those buckets. That gave her some space to breathe and gave her the ability to take some time because that list of what had to be done absolutely right now, you know, was much shorter. But the bathroom where Reno was on the now list. She had a quote for a toilet and bathtub install that cost $8,000 according to the quote and she felt very uneasy about it. Her radar was up that she might be getting ripped off. So when she mentioned this to me, I called my contactor specialist and we came up with a list of five steps to help avoid getting ripped off. Number one, get multiple quotes. So in Nancy's case, we got two other quotes. One came in at 6K and one came in at 5K. Quite a big difference, which leads to number two. Review the scope of work. List exactly when someone gives a quote, list exactly what they're going to do for that quote so we can compare that they're charging for the same things because sometimes if you take the lower quote what people will do is add on to that quote as the job goes so important to get the scope of work so you're comparing apples to apples number three check for reviews of the company online of course you got to take those with a grain of salt because sometimes it's their cousin or their sister or their uncle putting in the reviews but you can often see some things that aren't so flattering online and that might be a red flag at the same time ask for professional and association credentials number four use references if you know someone who used to somebody and they did a good job that's a good place to start and whoever you're using, ask them for references. Most importantly, number five, and this is what Nancy did, ask someone about it. If you're not feeling confident, 
just ask some people. And even better, ask some people who might know something about it. Don't be shy about getting other people's op- uh, opinion on things because at the end of the day, we've probably all been through it. And by the way, Marilyn, the same kind of goes for your investments. If someone says they're going to give you an 8% return and someone else says 6%, the 8 isn't always the best for you. Work through the same sort of steps to help avoid getting ripped off. Get multiple proposals, review the scope of work, a detailed description of what's going to be done for the money, whether they're taking more risk or not. Number three, check for comments on the Internet. Ask for professional and association credentials. Number four, use references, people who people you know have used and have worked out well with. Ask for references of people you're going to work with. And number five, discuss with trusted associates and friends, preferably people who sort of know something about the topic. There's a lot of good, honest, reliable people out there, but be prepared just in case. Well, I hope that Nancy meets Total Access Center and Daniel because that's exactly what they do. And I'm glad you're part of the team and they're part of the team. But it is important to check things out before and not have regrets. And a lot of people get immobilized because they don't know how to tackle things. So if they want to understand these five steps and maybe have an approach to their financial wellness, how do we reach you? We can reach me at 416 416- Eight six three seven five zero one, and and Marilyn, uh, just to say, if there are any listeners out there, uh, for, you know, from a woman's perspective, listeners who are feeling a little overwhelmed, uh, if they would like a little more detail on the decision-free zone, which helps sort out what needs to be done now from what can be put off a little bit and what can be done later, we'd be glad to forward some information or talk to them about that. It doesn't hurt to get the information and make informed decisions. When it comes to investing, definitely the Farwell Group will help you. All you have to do is call Darren and his team at 416-863-7501. Thank you, Darren, for sharing Nancy's story. And I look forward to hearing more next week. You're welcome, Marilyn. It's always nice to be here.